about what America was in its birthing age and what it is now when we have to heal our land. Thank you, Angel. O oh, eternal and everlasting God, I presume to present myself this morning before thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to accept of my humble and hearty thanks that it hath pleased thy great goodness to keep and preserve me the night past from all the dangers poor mortals are subject to, and has given me sweet and pleasant sleep whereby I find my body refreshed and comforted for performing the duties of this day, in which I beseech thee to defend me from all perils of body and soul, direct my thoughts, words, and work, Wash away my sins in the immaculate blood of the Lamb, and purge my heart by thy Holy Spirit from the dross of my natural corruption, that I may with more freedom of mind and liberty of will serve thee, the everlasting God, in righteousness and holiness this day and all the days of my life. Increase my faith in the sweet promises of the gospel. Give me repentance from dead works. Pardon my wanderings and direct my thoughts unto thyself, the God of my salvation. Teach me how to live in thy fear, labor in thy service, and ever to run in the ways of thy commandments. Make me always watchful over my heart that neither the terrors of conscience, the loathing of holy duties, the love of sin, nor an unwillingness to depart this life may cast me into spiritual slumber but daily frame me more and more into the likeness of thy Son, Jesus Christ, that living in thy fear and dying in thy favor, I may, in the appointed time, attain the resurrection of the just unto eternal life. Bless my family, friends, and kindred. Unite us all in praising and glorifying thee in all our works begun, continued, and ended, when we shall come to make our last account before thee, blessed Savior, who has taught us to pray. Amen. Amen. Now, would you remain? Please remain standing. We are honored to have our colors presented by the American Legion, Post 459 of Burton. As they pass, we would ask that your hand be over your heart. We would ask that our veterans feel free to salute, because you are the only ones that have that honor and ability to do so. And we will present our colors silently, followed by the pledge. During our moments of silence, it is your time to reflect on those who have shed their blood so that America could be free. This is Sunday, October the 18th, join me now in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
please be seated. As you came in today, you should have received a bookmarker with an eagle on it. On this bookmark is the scripture verse of 2 Chronicles 7.14, and it states, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and will heal their land. Never before in my lifetime has America needed to be healed as much as it needs healing right now. And we are the people. Amen. We are the people that the Declaration of Independence states, we the people. And so I ask each and every one of you, please be praying daily for this country. Please be praying for God's mercy. Please be praying for our country to heal and to turn back to the values that founded this great country, that we're known for, because we can and should be that shining light in that shining city to the rest of the world. Remember, America was made exceptional, it was kept exceptional by our veterans, and it should always be exceptional for our future generations. We are charged with the responsibility of leaving this country better than we inherited it. And so for our children and grandchildren, I ask you to, to do that, please. Now, I just want to mention, we have a couple of very special people here, and I think you should have noticed them. In the back is Patrick Henry. Give me liberty or give me death. <laughs> On the other side in the back is Dr. Benjamin Franklin. Our great inventor of many things, including the first hospital. And then, of course, our fearless leader, the bulletproof General George Washington. If you're not registered to vote, we can take care of that. If you'll go to the back table and register to vote, remember your vote counts. Every single vote counts. And we need you voting in 2016. So tonight we're going to be honoring our veterans and our first responders. These are people who stand and look at the face of evil. These are people who run into danger for us. And we want them to know how much we love and appreciate what they do. Another man that I love and appreciate what he does is Todd Allen Herendine. And he and his band of patriots will just entertain you tonight, but also give you a strong message of what's important in life. And so I turn this over. Todd, please come forward. Wow, only in Ohio would anybody show up. That's pretty. I applaud you. Thank you for coming out, no matter what the weather is. We're in combat. We're in combat. Our men and women that wear a uniform this very second, it doesn't matter whether it's a windstorm or whether it's a snowstorm or whether it's a rainstorm, they've got a uniform on. they got to go out in that world and protect those God-given freedoms. And now it's our turn here at home to get out our uniforms and come on out and bring our chairs and support these things because we're in combat for our country. And I applaud you, you warriors, for coming out today. If you don't mind, I'd like to invite our group up band to follow that green band. Give them a nice round of applause today if you don't mind. It's exciting to be here this afternoon. It really is. I don't, uh, you know, we're from Florida, so we're used to this kind of weather. <laughs> We're so happy to be here today and we thank God that we can put a tent over our heads and put some sidewalls up and knock the breeze down and just come together as one because we're here today as one. And I want to ask a question right now. How many Catholics are with me? Just raise your hand right now, the Catholics. How many Baptists are here today? Raise your hand, some Baptists. How about some Pentecostal folks? Do we have any of them here today? Maybe you're a Nazarene. How about a Nazarene out there? 
I don't blame you. I wouldn't admit to that one either. Lutherans out there, any Lutherans out there? Methodists, maybe you're Methodist. Well, listen, and and, and many other denominations. But guess what? Believers? It doesn't matter. The title over the door means nothing. It's what's on the heart. And so we're coming together today. As one day we're going to sing in glory together. Let's just start right here in Burton, Ohio, and start singing together. Let's put down our diversities and let's come together as one. And uh, let's not look at denominations. Let's just let's just have a good time. And and we're so happy again to be here. Wrote a song a couple years ago called God and Country. And if you don't mind, we have a video that goes with it. And uh, I hope you enjoy this song and this message, God and Country. <laughs>
this song I'm about to sing to you. It's one of my favorites, and I'll tell you why. It was 1969. A movie came out called Cool Hand Luke. How many remembers old Cool Hand Luke? And old Cool Hand Luke, which was Paul Newman, he was in prison, you see. And his mama pulls up, and she was in the back of an old pickup truck. You remember that movie? And there was a net over the back, and mama was dying, so they let Paul Newman out, and he got to go out and visit his mama, get up, go out the prison gates and stand there and visit for a little bit. And what I thought was really cool, while he was visiting with his dying mama, in the background the prisoners were singing a good old gospel song. And I remember falling in love with that song at that moment, and just as a little child. So I'm going to sing that to you, I hope you like it. Well, I am weak, but Thou art strong.
from Panama City Beach, Florida. The Lord has blessed us with the opportunity to go all over this great land that's called America. From the Statue of Liberty to the shores of San Diego. From the borders of Michigan to the Gulf of Mexico, Texas. Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, New York, Indiana, Michigan, Illinois. Wish I could just name all the places we've had the great opportunity because of the power of the Lord to come and take a tent and set it up. Just proclaim His name to honor veterans and lift up this land that He called America. I believe in history before anyone ever set foot on these grounds, God had a plan for a place called America. And he started blessing it way back then. The day he proclaimed that America would rise up and America would be an ally and a protector of Israel. And America would be 86% right now, this very moment, 86% of the world evangelism comes from America. All around the world, 86% comes from America. God had a plan for America. He still has a plan for America. And that plan will continue to go on. So I love this song right here, and I know you do too. Yes. God bless America. to get into this land. They're not breaking them down to get out of this land. That ought to be enough right there to tell us we got something special here. Man, America. America. You know, today we're able to stand out here on these grounds that we, before we ever pitched the tent and we gathered around and I want to thank all those that, that helped out. I wish I could remember all their names, Mike and, and, and Mark that was here and of course Linda and others. 
And before we ever set the first stake in the ground, we stood about right out in there and we just stood in a circle and we asked God to anoint this ground right here. Just anoint it for today, for this opportunity. But don't leave the anointing when the tent goes down. We pray that it just starts carrying out through this, this county here. I can't even pronounce the county name, so I'll just, this county right here. I love it when a man will speak in tongues. Josh. <laughs> so we're just happy to be able to come here and do this. And, and one of the things that we can do is what we're doing here today. We're not getting beheaded right now. But in other countries, if they tried to sing gospel music and, and patriotic music, they'd just wipe them all out right there. But here in America, we can do this because of what our men and women have done for us so we can gather here today. I chose a song that I'm going to sing right now based upon our overnight sleep last night. So we travel on the bus. We've done about 2,000 miles since we left home, and, and uh, we've got a couple more stops along the way before we get back. But we always, as we travel through the night, we always, uh, as we're getting close to where our next day thing is, we pull into Cracker Barrel because they'll let you just sleep there for free and get up and have breakfast. And we love that, you know, and I love Cracker Barrel. They're just Americana all the way right there. And so we pulled into a Cracker Barrel about 40 miles from here, and uh, and uh, we pulled in there and parked the bus, and I thought, oh, God, we finally can lay down and just rest, you know. And and uh, I got went back and got in bed, and I'm laying there, and all of a sudden, it starts shaking. And I heard a train whistle blowing. <laughs> My wife looked at me and said, Ricky, where'd you put us now? <laughs> if you remember the episode of I Love Lucy, <laughs> when they were traveling, I believe it was Ohio, wasn't it? They were on State Road 6. And they pull out, pulled into an old place and the train went by and shook the bed across the room. And that's exactly what I thought I was in. And all of a sudden, this song came to mind. It was called Mountain Railroad. So if you don't mind, it's an old gospel song that I want the band to just go ahead and play. <clears throat> oh. 